My name's Laura Hughes, I am the sister of Colin McGinty. Colin McGinty was murdered in 2001, he was a, sadly a victim of knife crime. Today we've done um, a team training run, we've all got together, which is Colin's anniversary weekend. This weekend Colin's been dead 18 years, so I felt it was really important rather than having a miserable weekend and having a very sad weekend and coming to the cemetery and we'd have a team training run. Um, which we'd start at the cemetery and end at the cemetery and bring everyone to Colin's grave so they could actually see the reality of why we are um, doing this. And this is all in preparation for the half marathon that our In Memory of Colin McGinty team are taking part in in May to honour Colin for what should be his 40th birthday whilst raising awareness of the hashtag No More Knives campaign. Um, growing up with my four brothers was mayhem. Um, it was fun, on the go all the time. Um, Basically, you know, we were, I don't know, just a bit of a boisterous bunch, but fun. You know, it was great childhood, amazing childhood. Colin was a funny, brilliant 21-year-old um, lad who had loads of life left in him. Um, life and soul of a party and just a good, nice, person to be around. I found out um, the morning that he died because my mum and dad's car was gone and then when I was getting ready and doing my hair my mum and dad came in I am um, like distraught and told me what had happened to him because my mum said Colin had been stabbed so when I asked where was he could we go and see him my mum and dad said he died. I think the No More Knives campaign is so important because back in 2001 when this happened to Colin, obviously it was a major big deal then, but nowadays these major big deals are becoming more and more apparent, like, you know, every day when I'm reading the news or watching the news, someone else has been stabbed, someone else has died, and these victims are getting younger and younger and younger. I mean, I know myself in the area that we live in, it happens, kids are taking knives into school. I've got two young children and I feel like parents, it starts with the parents, they need to be accountable. It's the parents have the ability to influence their children and to give their children different choices. This idea come because this year Colin is turning 40 and I felt it was important to do something to acknowledge that and to honour him. Um, I didn't think doing a charity night was the right thing but I felt like doing something that was going to be positive and get like mass participation we decided to do the Rock and Roll Half Marathon, which is happening in May. And our team of four has now grown to 76. People can support what we're doing via literally going to our social media channels. So you can find us on Instagram, on Facebook, on Twitter. You just need to search In Memory of Colin McGinty. Or equally, we've got a Just Given page. Um, the money that we are raising for doing this is going to a Liverpool charity, Cash for Kids which that money then will be utilised in this city region and given to children that will be affected by crimes. It means so much to me that everyone wants to get involved. Every single um, week I'm getting new members coming forward. At the moment it's like every single day and stuff like that just blows me away. It also reminds me that there's a lot more good in this world than there is bad. And I think for a very, very long time I was quite bitter and used to feel like the bad was a, the world was a really bad place. But on a daily basis at the minute, I'm just shown by, I'm just, my opinions changing by everyone's generosity and support. Out of all my siblings, I was the one who wasn't sporty. So the fact that I'm doing this and like killing myself doing it, I think he'd be, he'd, he'd laugh. But I also think, or I hope he'd be proud and know that his life actually did mean something. Yeah, he died at the age of 21. He's nearly been dead longer than he was alive, nearly. Um, which is quite a big statement, actually. And I think he'd look and be made up with, you know, everything that we were doing.